What is up? Gear Squad, Shingu here, bringing another video, and today we're here to talk about Destiny 2. But specifically, we're here to talk about a brand new tournament that we're putting on for the Obsidian Gears, my clan in Destiny 2. This tournament is called Trials of the Black Armory. Now, if you guys are not part of the Obsidian Gears, no worries. I still highly recommend that you watch this video because if you are a guardian that has at least a group of friends, maybe let's say like six or more, you can definitely participate in this tournament as well with your own friends or your own clan. And of course, if you are part of the Obsidian Gears, you're definitely going to want to pay attention to this. Our tournament takes place October 10th, 12 p.m. Pacific time otherwise known as noon or uh, 3 p.m. Eastern time, or I would say 8 p.m. in the UK. So hopefully this works for you guys. Hopefully this is helpful. Let's jump right into Trials of the Black Armory. Let's talk about the rules and regulations. So the first thing I wanna talk about is weapons. The only weapons that are allowed in this tournament have to come from Black Armory or from Scourge of the Past Raid. Now, when I say they have to come from either of those locations, that includes forge weapons, exotics, heavy weapons, or power weapons. It also includes the experimental prototypes. For example, uh, Bad News, Atlanta D, Gilead, the ones that have the letters and numbers at the end of their title. And again, like I said, this also includes uh, the exotics that you can get from the Black Armory. So, Izanagi's Burden, of course everybody's favorite, Jotun, you guys can bring those exotics into the game as well. When it comes to armor, you're allowed to use any legendary armor you'd like. Of course, I want to give mad kudos to anybody that wears Black Armory armor or Scourge of the Past armor, but it is not mandatory. Of course, we also have the Black Armory shaders, and again, mad kudos to someone that wants to break out the style and show us what fashion truly means in Destiny 2. Now, when it comes to exotic armors, unfortunately, we are not allowed to wear any exotic armors because none of them come from the Black Armory or its associated raid. So you're going to have to leave your exotic armor behind on this one. When it comes to supers, of course, those are allowed, just like you'd be able to use them in any Trials match normally. When it comes to the game modes, we're looking at either a 3v3 elimination or a 2v2 elimination. Now we know that 3v3 elimination is normal for trials, but we're taking a look at 2v2 because if you only have about six people playing, it does mean you're able to have three teams comparatively to just two. And if you have even more than that, again, it really just depends on whether you wanna play duos and have more teams, or if you wanna have three man fire teams as per usual and have less teams, but you have that classic trials feel. When it comes to maps, honestly, it's all up to you. And when it comes to the Obsidian Gears, we'll be voting on maps right before we actually jump into the tournament. So that is the end of the rules and regulations for Trials of the Black Armory. But if you're looking for some tips and some tricks that have to do with the Black Armory and which weapons you want to jump into or how to find those weapons, let's go ahead and jump into that now. As you guys can see, this is Destiny Item Manager. If you don't use Destiny Item Manager, I do have a video on this. I highly recommend using Destiny Item Manager or Ishtar Commander. They are incredible applications that can be used online with a website just like this, or you can actually download a separate app on your iPhone or your Android device. So I highly recommend using these. These are the perfect applications to help you manage your vault and all of your characters and the inventory within them all. So in here, I'm using Destiny Item Manager to find all of my Black Armory weapons. So the first thing I'm gonna do, instead of just looking around and trying to find my weapons, I'm actually going to click on the search bar up here. And as you can see, I already typed it in, source colon Black Armory. This is basically saying, find everything in the game that I own that its source comes from the Black Armory. If I click this, automatically you'll see I have all of my weapons that I already own in my current Titans inventory. You'll see that I have Izanagi's Burden, you'll see that I have Spiteful Fang, you'll see that I have Blast Furnace, and they're all here. And you can scroll down and you'll see all the other Black Armory weapons, including my exotics, as well as weapons that are part of the experimental portion, like Show of Force, and of course, Dead Man Walking. So you're gonna wanna go ahead and do that and grab any of your weapons, whether they're from your vault or from a different character, bring them into the character that you plan on using and go ahead and get some practice. Now, if you're looking for more weapons, there is another source that you're going to want to check. Instead of Black Armory, you can also type in Scourge. When you type in Scourge, this is going to bring up your Scourge weapons, weapons that come from Scourge of the Past. And so you'll see weapons like Threat Level, and you'll also see weapons like Tempered Dynamo. 
So you can go ahead and once again drag those in there. Yes, again, you can bring Anarchy. It is an exotic weapon, but it does come from the Black Armory, or in this case, the Scourge of the Past Raid. So go ahead and drag those in as well. Now, don't forget your armor. So if you are trying to get that swag out there, go ahead and do that. Um, and you guys can see here, I have the Bulletsmith, um, all of the Bulletsmith armor, and I've added that in to my Titan as well. I definitely am going to be wearing this for our tournament. Now, if you guys were wondering, okay, am I missing anything? Is there anything that I should definitely get before I jump into here? The answer is yes, and you should definitely take a look at what you might be missing or what you might wanna grab. The way to do that is click on records. And once again, what you're gonna do is look for source and click on Black Armory. Once you do that, it'll show you little check marks for weapons that you currently have. Not weapons that you've gotten before, but ones that you currently have. But if there's something you don't have, for example, I have not played the raid with my Hunter or my Warlock, you'll see that they're kind of grayed out. And unfortunately, I don't own these, but things that I do own, for example, um, the Forged Mechanist suit, these are things that I have had before, I just don't currently have them on my character. So. This is what you're gonna to wanna to look at when you say, okay, well, what am I missing? Am I missing a weapon that I really should use? I'll give you guys a couple tips and tricks right now. In terms of the exotics, they're all really good. In terms of a low floor, you're definitely going to wanna to to pick up the Jotun. In terms of a high skill ceiling, you're definitely gonna to wanna to pick up the Izanagi's Burden. Obviously, that's an incredible sniper, especially for shutting down supers. And I would definitely recommend the Le Monarch because if you have someone on your team who wants to play a little bit more um, passively or wants to play more supportive, tagging somebody with this bow definitely helps and allows you to keep an eye on your target because it does tick damage over time. But, of course, there's normal weapons as well, like the Gilliard. The Gilliard is one of the best auto rifles in the game. It's very hard to get, but if you do have one, you are not going to be upset when you bring this thing into battle. Same thing with the Blast Furnace. Everybody should have a Blast Furnace. If you don't have one, they're very easy to get from the Forge. Go visit 801 and definitely grind one of these out. Blast Furnace can get some incredible rolls, and I highly recommend it. So keep looking for some of the weapons that you have. You guys should know kind of what's meta already. For example, sidearms are very good right now, and Dead Man Walking is certainly good. Uh, if you like bows, you have a couple options. And of course, you've got some sniper rifles as well. Show of Force and oh, the classic, Tara's Gaze. So once you do that, again, there's also Scourge. If you type in Source and you type in Scourge, you'll immediately get the Scourge weapons. As you guys can see, you'll see the exotic first, which is Anarchy, and then you'll see the Scout Rifle, Shotgun, Fusion Rifle, and etc. Again, you'll see things that you are missing. For example, I'm actually missing quite a bit of mods here, Fallen Armaments, Fallen Invigoration. So if I did wanna jump back in and grab these, I definitely could, but it'll show you other things as well, like shaders, emblems, etc. So that's pretty much everything when it comes to Trials of the Black Armory. For Obsidian Gears, once again, we will be doing this tournament October 10th, that's this Saturday, at 12 p.m. Pacific Time, 3 p.m. Eastern Time, or 8 p.m. UK Time. Hopefully that's helpful. I really, really hope you guys enjoy this tournament. And if you guys are not for the Obsidian Gears, give this a try. And if you don't have a group to play with, I promise you, go ahead, grab a couple of these weapons before they get sunset, and just try and get some of the best KDs you possibly can in lobbies, and just have a really fun time with it. Go ahead, break out the Toxic Jotun, or try your best with some skill-based weapons like a bow, or of course the Izanagi Burden, and let me know how you guys do. So what do you guys think of this tournament? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you wanna see more of our tournaments, we definitely will do that. I would like to actually stream some of our tournaments at some point, but unfortunately there is no spectator mode in Destiny 2, which means I can't shout cast these tournaments for you guys the way I would like to do. But if that ever changes in the future, I will definitely let you guys know. Guys, thank you so much. Of course, if you like this video, like it, and let me know why in the comment section down below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys online, and of course, I'll catch you the next one. Peace. <laughs> what we offer, Guardian, is privilege. Today, it would seem our doors are open to you. Welcome to the Black Armory.